The Sylvan Heights Bird Park in Scotland Neck always has such amazing things for us to see. And today, Brent Lubbock is here with a duck and a goose for us to check out. Welcome back. That's right. It's great to be back. And I've brought a um, white-faced whistling duck with oh, me. Oh, nice. And these guys are actually found in Africa and South America. Uh -huh. um, this one's fully grown. But uh, what are the things, I, the reason I brought this, a lot of people think ducks have short legs. Mm -hmm. Well, for example, this one does not. Oh. And there's eight different types of whistling ducks. She's kind of backing up here. <laughs> <laughs> but her, um, her name's uh, Lavender. She's Aww. really sweet. She's one of our education birds. So, okay. when, uh, so she's used to being around people. Yeah, and ha being handled and stuff. But um, yeah, she's just checking herself out and checking what's around her too. Gotcha. But. And for people who haven't been to Sylvan Heights, you all have such a wide variety of fowl for us to check out. We've got over uh, 2,500 uh, 2, birds for view. Um, there's over 250 different species and mm. they're set up into uh, different continental exhibits. So you go through Africa, South America, North America, and Eurasia. And uh, we feel it's really great for people to see the birds, but also kind of have a bit of an interaction with them. Gotcha. It's similar wow. to this one here. <laughs> okay, so she's fully grown. She's fully grown, so she's got all her primary feathers which she would use for flying. Um, and you can see that bill there, she's nibbling around and yeah. all that. But she's real sweet. But um, the whistling ducks do normally live in trees and then they'll come down and swim around a little bit. Okay, but, well you've um, got a baby. Yep, I've also brought a, a magpie goose. Check out next. Now are the these two right now. friends or are they, or are they uh, separated? No, they're the separate. Park. The magpie okay. is actually um, still over at the other breed, the breeding center. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's interesting, yeah, he's making a lot of noise. <laughs> So. Hey there, buddy. Oh, look at there. Yeah, so he's still young. He was very young. But one of the things you want to notice with the magpie, no web feet. Oh. Even though it's a waterfowl species, um, they only have partial webs. Hmm. And uh, they're one of the oldest species of waterfowl in the world. They actually look kind of vulturistic, if you yeah. notice. And well, he's still got the down, so he hasn't got all the full feathers okay, yet. Okay, so his color will change. Mm -hmm. They will uh, completely black and white, and they have a bit of a musky smell, but they're found in Australia. Okay. And males and females look very similar. But um, we're actually doing special programs every Saturday, starting in September, mm -hmm. and it'll be opportunity to people to meet the birds up close, um, but also um, they can meet some of the other things. We have some bugs and snakes and stuff too. That's nice. up to them. I didn't know but you had bugs yeah. and snakes. <laughs> yeah. Can you meet those up close as well? Um, not when you're visiting the park, but if you do one of the programs, we bring them out, like the cockroaches and all that. <laughs> but uh, the birds always are on view, and uh, the landing zone, you can hand feed those and stuff. But, very nice. Yeah, this magpie is a very unique species, and as you can see, it's a very beautiful species. Are they too. rare? Um, they're not as rare as some of the other species. We have about 18 endangered birds at the park though. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that we want to keep breeding and hopefully uh, reintroduce some of them back to the wild if possible. Very good. So, so sweet. Yeah, he's, he is oh. a sweetie. And uh, we're also doing a thing in September called Take a Child Outside. Okay. Um, it's an opportunity, it's going across the nation where um, people give an opportunity to come outside because a lot of kids aren't getting outside as much as they used mm -hmm. to. And we figure this is a great way to participate. So um, if people haven't been out to the park, this will be a great time for them to do that. And what a beautiful facility it is. Thank you.